Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Well, things are getting a pr pretty heavy out there, ain't, ain't they? <laughs> all that snow um, and the, all the chills. I was the... more, I was more talking about the plot. Oh, the points. plot. Oh, yeah. That too. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everyone. Where well, where? Waiting for the lock to be broken. Yeah. Hopefully the thing won't collapse because of earthquakes. There's gravy on a point on the <laughs> scroll. <laughs> this place is a mess. Get the gravy off the scroll. I don't know. Should I or shouldn't I? Sound like sound like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ah, my brain! This is driving me nuts! Yeah! Is there something troubling you, Scruffy? P please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir! It was merely a simple greeting. A friendly tap on the shoulder, with my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? <laughs> How did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide... Perhaps you were trying to decide it if you <laughs> want to wash that off or not. <laughs> wow, a lot of typos here. <laughs> How did you know, sir? Everybody's, uh... Everybody's got jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um... You mean that one that says no entry on it? I, um, kinda already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah! Anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out! I'm not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Isn't it normally the other way around? Well, see you later. So, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course! What else would we do? <laughs> I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. Gravy. <laughs> One in doubt, it's gravy. Okay, garden. February um, 9th, Inner Temple Garden. That's a lot of blood, son! <laughs> There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. What's that strange writing on the stone lantern? Ah! What are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here! Don't you know, Scruffy? Avon Karma will always show up wherever there's a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found in here. B but <laughs> I wanna look at No! Okay, fine, no, fine. Back! We are looking at this place! <laughs> fine. Blood everywhere. What the heck is that? Uh-oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious! It says... Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. No, I thought it I thought it was written in strawberries! <laughs> you will answer all of our questions now, Scruffy, without exception. Y yes sir. <laughs> well, later. Later. There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a lever cord tied to it, too. Apparently it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Donum? Yeah, there was a broken lever cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on the charm match exactly. So she was here! This means that this charm definitely belonged to Miss Donum. This could be a really vital piece of evidence. Curry Master's talisman added to the court record. That's important. Indeed. That, that would be... <laughs> Very important. Okay. There are a couple of torches here. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. It looked like they'd been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recent are we talking about? As recent as the night of the murder. Maya was training here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think that these things were lit up at the time, I guess. Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. And it's an almost perfect rectangle. It couldn't have happened at naturally. Yes, it appears as though someone has carefully cleared away the snow. No doubt it was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Huh? No, it wasn't me, sir. 
It was already like that when my men and I got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh yeah, there's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone, got it? This is what he always says, and then we bring it up in court and he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out at the local wrestling contest, you see? I was so disappointed, I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. Man, I got in so much trouble when I left it on the couch. Is that it? That's it! Gah! Whoever cleared the snow away must have had a reason. Although I can't even begin to imagine what that reason could be. There's something else. Yeah. A little lantern, a little statue. It is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh! What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one! It's, um, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if this has any, any impact on the case. Um, well, I, uh... I doused my face earlier with the in the with the water in this. I was getting kind of sleepy. Gah! Next time you're sleepy, you need to only come to me. Got it? <laughs> yeah, Gumshoe, don't be disturbing the crime scene. Is that a broom? Oh, they just want me to examine the the uh, burning things there. Oh well. <sighs> well, now we can talk. So, how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best scientific forensic team in the world working the place. Forensic team. And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Nothing! Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? They looked kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. I guess I better look into them myself. Okay, Maya. Um, about Maya? Oh, um, did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yeah, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. We'll have to wait, since she's the only one who can open the door to the Sacred Cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Probably Iris's background. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. Sounds... pleasant. That wouldn't be surprising, though. Maya, so these letters are written in blood? Yeah. Upside down? What's worse yeah. is that it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Donum's blood? This could also be a repeat, though, of, like, Mia, like, I'm dying, and then they're like, yeah. like, with the finger, so. We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm, most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down. You know what? That was really bothering me, too. But I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Oh boy. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder... That stone lantern was upside down! Ahem. Anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Miss Elise Stoneham wrote these letters herself. In her own blood. Y you must be joking! That's impossible! From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Donum's murder. At least, that's our current theory on how the events took right, place, Right, and then now. they dragged her back. WHAT?! But that means she'd have to go across the bridge. Somehow, yeah. Somehow. So Miss Donum was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then, what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was... A reenactment. Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Von Karma? 
Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But wait a sec, the bloody writing and all the other clues here... Someone could have easily set that, all that up after the murder had taken place, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burnt out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Ugh. I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. If this really was the scene of the crime, then I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Okay. Maybe, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll present some stuff. That thing must have been worn by the victim. There's no other way of looking at it. You mean, because of the matching lever cord found around the victim's neck? Yeah, I bet it was one of those things that she always wore. I've got this safe driving charm I've been wearing for over a year now. If I ever get into an accident, it guarantees it'll be the other guy's fault. Isn't it supposed to stop you from having an accident in the first place? Yeah. What about when you hit the telephone pole? Yeah. That literally could only have been your fault. That was after. Or <laughs> like, that was before. Yeah, show the crystals here. This was found close to Dusky Bridge, wasn't it? That's what that artist guy said, yeah. Right after the defendant flew over the burning bridge. According to his testimony, she dropped it when she landed on the other side. But this crystal didn't belong to Iris. The crystal had dropped out of Miss Elise Donum's uh, staff. I thought I can't read. And then there are traces of blood on it, too. The real question is, what was it doing near the foot of Dusky Bridge? I have another idea of what could have happened with Larry's beautiful sketch. <laughs> so... If you turned it upside down, yeah. it would look like she's flying underneath the bridge. So what maybe happened was they carried the body across the bridge and they were like, let's burn this thing. And then when um, Iris came back, I don't know who carried her across the bridge, but Iris could have taken one of the wires and like flew, like cut it and then flew across. Maybe. What? Well, no, you know how there were the wires holding up the bridge? Yeah. There's more than one. Yeah. And maybe that's how she flew. Because otherwise, how would anybody fly? Also, she looks theory. so small, it could be Pearl. I don't know. It could um, be. it's- I think the Larry's reason, just not The reason amazing. I say this is because there's no wires on top of the bridge. That's true. They're there only aren't. below, which is what makes me think he's like, it's upside down! <laughs> You'd think he would have told us that to begin with, but... Yeah, this is Larry. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty yeah, much everything. that's pretty much everything. Let's go. Oh, wait, no. Present Edgeworth's profile. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, we're doing that. I haven't seen Mr. Edgeworth for about a year. Talk about a long time. Do you know why he moved overseas? I don't know. Probably to look cool. Huh? There's a lot of weight attached to doing research overseas, you know. Once I've done my stint in Paris, you'll have to call me Monsieur Gumshari. <laughs> <laughs> People really don't get Edgeworth, do they? It's his own fault for not explaining anything about himself. What about Francisco? <laughs> yeah. Wow! What a beauty, huh? Gah! Who was that- or what was that long pause for, Scruffy? That's a real nice brooch she's got, too. Gah! Gumshoe needs to learn how to give compliments faster than Francisca gives lashes. That's not very fair. Well... Let's move. Or Francisca could just stop whipping people. Where's Pearl? Uh. Where'd where, she go? Where to go? Uh, maybe she went to Heavenly Hall. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Maybe she went back to get more, uh, potatoes. The potatoes. Come on. Okay. February 9th, Hasakura Temple, Main Gate. It seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright! Iris! I'm really glad to see you. Why? Why would anybody want to see her? Because that means she'll open the door. I know, but still. <laughs> Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We gotta hurry up and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? 
All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? He was probably like, so Iris, about your entire background. <laughs> Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Maya Faye is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. C come on, Edgeworth! If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? I'm but it's Maya! Mr. Wright, all that matters is Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off-limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Come on, please tell me Pearl's over here! Back! This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Well, I guess she's staying with us. Yeah, Francisca's our partner now. I guess so, which is weird. Because that, <laughs> her, she's literally... Or no, she's not going to be against us. Godot's going to be the other prosecutor. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Francisca's a lot nicer now, though. Which yeah, I she, appreciate. Is. she is. February 9th, Hatsukur Temple Main Hall. Excuse me. <laughs> that sounded like she was so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that was my stomach. Sister Bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Wright. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, 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 hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome, crimson-clad prince. Is she talking about Edgeworth? It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh, dear. It's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. She was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear anyone else saying that! Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ack! <sighs> uh, oh, yes! You did great, Sister Bikini. I just don't know. Absolutely spectacular! <laughs> <laughs> you two are the only ones who have said that to me! I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Yeah, good five Guess it's time to break that psych lock of hers. You mean- we have the stuff? Five psych locks. That's what I said. Yeah, but Phoenix is like, I might be able to break that psych lock. It's like, you mean the five? Take that. Oh, I wonder, will, um, will Von Karma be able to see this and just be like, what the bleep? <laughs> I don't think so. At okay. least don't him. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donum had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has something to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She was... she was... Mystic Elise was an author! Just an author of picture books! To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Elise Donum's true identity. Well, it's probably the, uh, talisman. <laughs> it's my attorney's badge! Well, Sister Bikini, what do you have to say to that? I'm a lawyer! <laughs> of course. I don't know why it didn't hit me before. Your heart. It's impure. It's riddled with wickedness and fallacies. Huh? That's why you keep coming up with these funny ideas. I recommend Miss Elise's book, The Magic Bottle, for a man in your condition. The Magic Bottle? I hope it doesn't have a child-proof cap on it. She was a wonderful author and illustrator. That's all! I swear! Is that so? <laughs> what about her? Worn by Miss Elise Donham, found in the Garden of Inner Temple. Boom. <sighs> Miss Donham had this charm with her at all times. <laughs> what did you... Gah! That's a weird way to... This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. Th then... 
What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about Miss D who Miss Donum really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Donum's true identity. Um. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> no, um. <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe the staff? Wait, what does her staff say about her? Carried by Miss Elise Donum when she was alive, has her no. fingerprints on it. No, crystal? Found on an outcropping near Gadusky no. Bridge, has blood on it, came from the victim's staff. Is it, no. is it the scroll? I mean, we can't prove that it's of Misty Fay right now, but I think that's the person that- Oh! I think that's the person that it's trying to show. Okay. Well, I'm still an attorney. You really ought to think about buying one of those charms we sell here, Mr. Wright. Huh? Otherwise, you just might find yourself jumped on by a little old lady on a dark mountain path. What am I doing? The piece of evidence I need to show Bikini's obvious. That's... that's just a plain old good luck charm, so please give it back. Oh uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> really? Is it like super... What? It is the hanging scroll. Wait, didn't we... Didn't we present that? What? No, pre I presented the attorney's badge. <gasps> oh! To get the wrong statement. I could have sworn we presented that and then we were doing it again. I'm like, huh? The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But the scroll shows the master of the Korean channeling technique. Oh, this is so cool. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman oh, I didn't, I didn't the victim carried with her. I didn't make that connection. I was just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, ah! <laughs> this crest is reserved for the master of Korain. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I I I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fey, told me. Wh what? You you mean that that acolyte, his misty face? Daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her first daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fay's sole successor. M Mystic, Mystic, Misty! Oh. That was easy. And that's so cool! That means Maya finally met her mom again! Kind of. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. She just didn't realize it. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her in 17 years. That's when she disappeared. Who? Well, what is the significance of the talisman, sister? The Korain talisman? It's the symbol of the master of Korain. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Oh, I wonder if Maya, being the fact that she's like, crap, will be like, I wonder if I can summon my mom and then finally can. She's like, Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Until their death? So Elise Donum really was Maya's mother, huh? She was Misty Fay, the master of the Korean channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. It looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. W what happened? Well... Oh no! W what's happening? Uh, it can't be. Earthquake! Ah! Meanwhile, Edgeworth is dying. <laughs> oh my goodness! The inner temple, this kind of tree more might. Tremor. Or tremor! Tree more! <laughs> <laughs> tree more! Tree more! The inner temple? The sacred cavern in the training hall may very well cave in! W what? Maya! Please tell me we don't end the game with a dead partner. It... it seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing! Let's go! What? Where? To the Inner Temple, of course! Where else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, alright? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. I don't think that'll cut it, but okay. Come on then, Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Th thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. 
I wonder if he's alright. Yeah. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go! I'm more worried about Maya, to be honest, but yeah. I'm also worried about I mean, Edgeworth. Edgeworth. We've gotta hurry to the Inner Temple and... Right! Ah! What, what are you doing here? Uh, how could I have... Come on, spill it. How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yo! Hey, why am I the one getting whipped? She's gone. No. The defendant, Iris. She's gone. Oh, that's a problem! Gone where? She fled. She escaped! What?! Well, that's not nearly as bad. So, it was just now, during the... The Edgeworth gets five million <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> it's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes, and... I stupidly passed out! That incident... Haunts you to this day, doesn't it? That would! If you get trapped in an elevator, and you have, like, oxygen... Not, is it deprivation. Oxygen? Yeah, oxygen deprivation for five hours, that would probably haunt me, too! Yep. That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end, and so she only could have escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth, have you thoroughly checked the Inner Temple yet? Don't be ridiculous! Why would I? The Inner Temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the Sacred Cavern might have caved because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the Inner Temple to check out the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the Inner Temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the Training Hall Sacred Cavern now. Alright, let's go. Let's run for 15 minutes. February 9th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Fortunately, the Sacred Cavern didn't cave in. Cool. But what we found was something none of us would have ever expected. What? Oh! More. How, how can there be... Even more locks. What? What is the meaning of this? I think the sacred cavern has a mind of its own. Iris! Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Come on, don't have there be a to be continued. Come on! I need to know more! Well, we'll know more next time. Well, I don't- we don't know where Pearl went. There's five Cyclops now, not one. I think, like, this sounds weird, but, like, I think the building has a mind of its own. Like, whoever's inside, like, that will cause the thing to lock up. Maybe? <laughs> Otherwise, this, I don't know. There's only one explanation. This house is an imaginary friend that he's called! I mean, maybe. <laughs> I don't know! Well, we'll have to find out more next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Things are really getting exciting now. Yeah. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Please, Pearl and Maya, don't be dead.